focus on me Baby, can you focus on me? Me Hands in the soap How the fuck's it running at? I keep looking at you another weekly vlog if you're new here don't forget to click that like comment and subscribe button and join the sisterhood sisters we had a great morning this morning i woke up i cleaned my room cleaned my bathroom i'm still in the process of unpacking a lot of stuff if you don't know paris and i recently moved we just have a lot of unpacking and cleaning to do so that's literally been taking up my morning and then after I finished cleaning, I had my hit class today at 11.30 and y'all, I tried to take, I don't know if I, I think I did record a little bit. I tried, I think I recorded me going to the gym. I don't think I showed y'all me at the gym. So before y'all come on here and be like, uh-uh, you ain't gonna work out. Y'all, struggle was an understatement. Like. For one, my instructor, he's very, very, very talkative. So as soon as I came in, I'm trying to set up the, the vlog camera. He just kept talking my head off. And I felt bad, like, trying to record and stuff while he's, like, having a full conversation with me. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just get it later. Later came around, y'all. Tired. Like, tired. Like, I was so sore. I was so tired. I was struggling. And if you, if you ever did a hit class, you know, hit is, like, Full body workouts, non-stop. Like, you probably get five second breaks. And they're just like, you just keep going. You just keep moving. And it was an hour long class. So, I did that. Came home, showered, made some breakfast. This morning I had eggs, sausage, a piece of toast, some blueberries. I didn't even have coffee this morning yet, but I'm still so hungry. So, that's why I'm eating Chex, Chex, Chex Mix. I always say that wrong. Chex Mix. <laughs> you don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm snacking. Okay, I'm still so hungry, but these are kind of salty, so I might put them away. Last little bite. But other than that, I'm just having a very chill, soft, slow morning. Paris just left for Barcelona yesterday. So she's there, having the time of her life. She went for a wedding. And she just texted me, and she was like, Oh my gosh, the wedding is so beautiful, I can't stop crying. I'm like, girl, she is a... Uh, what do you call it a sucker for love so she cries at like anything romantic and beautiful which i mean of course witnessing someone's love is just a beautiful experience so i can only imagine like it's pretty emotional so today i'm probably just going to finish cleaning up i might run a target and grab some new stuff for the home so i think the way we're gonna do it is start room by room like she obviously paris is gonna obviously start on her bathroom in her room and i'm gonna start on my bathroom in my room and I think the common area, like the kitchen, the living room, and I don't know if y'all know, but we have a third bedroom. 
and the third bedroom is for our storage space our cow collection um inventory and then just extra storage space for a lot of things that we get and we don't know where to put it. it's in the third bedroom eventually we do want to make the third bedroom like an office space so that'll probably be the last thing we work on in the house but for sure starting off our rooms our bathrooms uh we have a really big entryway like a big long entryway when you walk in it's like you gotta cut two corners just to get to the kitchen and living room it's like a hallway so we really want to make the hallway really nice and pretty so i think we might start that first the kitchen it's not completely done it's just a little unorganized i don't know if y'all it's a little unorganized and i want it to be more pinterest and aesthetic <laughs> almost choked on my checks i want it to be a little more pinterest and aesthetically pleasing so i'm gonna like slowly work on that maybe see what i can pick up from target because we do have a lot of stuff but some of the stuff can go and then we can just kind of upgrade the aesthetic of it and then the living room the dining area is probably and then like new bar stools it's probably going to be the most expensive stuff to get so we'll probably do that last and work on that like we need a new couch we need a bigger tv for the living room we need a dining table we do plan to stay in this apartment for a long time i don't know how long it's a long time but longer than a year like we want to make it really feel homey and nice because it's such a beautiful apartment it's so pretty it's so pretty and i know we're gonna have so much fun decorating it but obviously decorating and making it your own and putting like your touches into it it takes time it costs it's not like something you just do in the first month you just kind of got to build it up piece by piece room by room so that's what we're doing so i might take y'all to if i go to target we'll, i'll take y'all with me and we can find some cute home things before i go to target i'm gonna get on pinterest and scroll and see what i can find and just save some inspo and i'm not gonna lie y'all i don't know if i want to make a coffee right now and take a quick little nap because i am so sleepy i need to stop being so sleepy that's not cute so i already did my workout maybe i can go lay out by the pool read i've been into my reading era lately my reading and journaling era lately and catching up on current news i've been doing good at that so i need to go do that get my education in for the morning and i need to wash my hair y'all look at it i know i look bad but <laughs> what y'all want me to do do it probably and then my grandma y'all yeah, i love my grandma she's so sweet my grandma sent me some more target packages let me actually see what this is she felt so bad because i told her because I, I paris it's really paris she keeps saying that she wants more snacks and i don't really eat snacks especially dry snacks but i told my grandma i was like oh you forgot our chips and she was she felt so bad because i if you watched the last vlog we showed you some of the stuff that she got us and she likes to like text us to make sure we got everything and i was like oh we call her mama i was like mama you forgot the um my chips because like i need my snack well i need my snacks but she's very like if i forgot anything let me know let me know she did forget my chips though so she just bought a new package and sent me some chips i'm not gonna lie i don't think i want these um i like the baked chips these are not baked so i'm probably gonna take them back but don't tell my grandma because she probably will cry so i'm gonna take these back to target with me today put this over here with my target take back pile because i have some other stuff i need to take back but this i was so happy that she got because i want to do better with sleeping so this is like a magnesium powder that she got in the flavor raspberry raspberry lemon um and we're gonna start making mock what do you call it sleepy girl mocktails at night and so in the last package that my grandma bought she got the let me show you she got us the um 
poppy prebiotic cherry limeade soda and then we got the magnesium and then what else do you oh the cherry tart juice and she also got us the cherry tart juice so thanks mama i appreciate you so much um especially like she's been sending us packages so literally i kid you not since Paris and I was in college, like anything that we needed for our house, anything that we just needed in general, like she would just send a care package because who likes to buy home items? I don't like it. If it's not home decor, I don't want to buy anything for the home, like cleaning supplies. I barely like to buy groceries, okay? But shout out to her because she came through with the package. We have a lot of stuff in the extra room, like, um, like if we run out of stuff, we have a big old box of extra stuff. Like we're, we're good and stocked up for a good little minute. But maybe tonight we can make our first Sleepy Girl Mocktail together. Can't wait. But yeah. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to get my day started. I'm trying to decide if I want to lay down for about 20, 30 minutes and take a nap. Or if I want to go to the pool or if I want to make iced coffee. But I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, so it's a little later in the day. I am up at the pool. I made some coffee. Um, I don't know, my, my mood has been a little low. And I'm just trying to figure out where that's stemming from. So I just wanted to come up to the rooftop and just feel the sun, feel the breeze, hear the water, see the water, see the views, and just kind of put my mind back into a peaceful state because I don't know I was I was feeling anxious and overwhelmed I don't know I think I don't I honestly don't even know where it's stemming from I want to just say the move in general has been a lot on my mental and just trying to get into a good place a good routine a good balance in life like um, I think Paris and I told you this is our third year in LA and I'm still kind of not really struggling but I really want to make it feel like home and I want to make it feel like I belong. And I think sometimes I kind of struggle with feeling like I belong here. This is my home. This is my place. This is where I live. Like, this is my new community. And sometimes that kind of gets to me because, I don't know, like a lot of my friends and family are back home in Texas. And it's really just me and Paris. Like, sometimes it's just those thoughts kind of overwhelm me because when am I going to feel a sense of completion? And if you ever move to a new state by yourself, you know exactly what the feeling I'm talking about. And I love LA, don't get me wrong. And I love like the courage that my sister and I had to make this move. But it just gets, for one, it sometimes gets lonely. It gets scary. It gets overwhelming. And you just got to continue to motivate yourself each and every day to get out the house, get out the bed, go do something, go stay active like even with posting on social media just being consistent and showing up for yourself your community um i also feel like i don't know like i said i've been reading a lot of current events and staying up on the news and stuff and that's also been overwhelming and just making me feel like <laughs> i'm going into a deep rant but it's making me feel like y'all we have a woman running for president and she has a really good chance and it's just like if she could run for president and possibly have a strong chance of winning what can i do <laughs> like what is it that i can do like i know i could be doing more and i know that i'm doing great but i also know i could be doing more and so also just trying to find my why, my purpose, like what more can I be doing overwhelms me sometimes. So I just, I literally have to come to the pool and breathe, just breathe, like girl, just breathe. You're going to be okay. I don't know. My thoughts be just clogging my brain sometimes, but I am reading my book, guys, to help me with my mood. I'm reading my book and it's good. It's good. It's helping me understand like my, I'm not gonna say mood swings, but you know, just your different phases of your mood. So I'm about to finish that and it's getting a little chilly, but I do, and I have really been enjoying watching the sunset lately. So I'm gonna stay up here, watch the sunset and then maybe around like 7.30. So maybe around 8.30 I'll go home or go back up. But yeah.
sisters good morning good morning good morning it might even be afternoon right now i'm not even gonna lie to y'all but hey y'all hey your girl is in spain i've been in spain for the past few days i just haven't been vlogging sorry i'm going to brush my teeth by the way this is my favorite toothpaste right now what toothpaste y'all use let me know this this one right here Baby, have your breath smelling fresh. Ooh. I just had to brush my teeth real quick because I just think that it is so rude when people wake up first thing in the morning and start talking to you before brushing their teeth. Now that's nasty. Because why are you gonna come talk to me before brushing your teeth first? Like, be for real. So back to what I was saying, y'all. I'm in Spain and I've been here for a few days now. I came out here for a wedding and yesterday was the wedding. So we flew into Barcelona and we stayed there for one night, maybe two. And then now we're, I don't even know. Why do I not know where I'm at? Um, I'm trying to find it on my maps. Y'all, I don't even know. Mala Villa? I don't know. Let me not lie to y'all. But it's like a countryside of Barcelona. So it took us like an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get out here. But it's like being in the country versus being in, in the city. But it is so nice and peaceful out here. The mountains, the views. It is so beautiful in Spain. Let me get ready while I'm talking to y'all because one thing about me, I cannot walk and chew bubble gum. I'm not gonna lie to you. The key to being productive in life is learning how to multitask. But see, your girl, let me tell y'all what's on today's agenda. Actually, I don't know what's on today's agenda. I'm just out here just, but we just out here living. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know. My skin is looking pretty nice and dewy this morning. Um, Y'all wanna know what I used last night on my face? I don't have it with me, but I have it in one of these little, um, when I travel, I put my products in these, whatever you call them. I use castor oil on my skin. I've been doing that for like almost a month now, y'all, and it has been working so well. I put it on my skin every night. It has been working so well because for some reason, I felt like my skin started getting dry. And I usually, ha I have naturally pretty oily, dewy skin, but lately it's been kind of dry. So I'm like, why is my skin kind of getting dry? Well, for one, I live in LA. So the weather is drier there versus where I grew up in Houston. The weather in LA has really changed the texture of my skin. So I'm trying to figure out how to get it back to like not having acne prone skin and to have a moisturized plump youthful looking skin and I think I think we're getting there y'all I really do think that we're getting there um but yes I have been using castor oil on my skin every night and it has been a game changer and it's so cheap y'all don't let people sit up here and lie to you and tell you that you need four hundred dollar face creams for your skin to be moisturized no you do not you might need to go to the to the dermatologist and maybe get a uh, or maybe like a med spa and get a facial from time to time but no you do not need all these high-end expensive products some of them work yes they do but there are more affordable alternatives so anyways castor oil is one i've been using it every night and my skin be wake up in the morning glowy glistening i haven't done anything to my skin yet I'm about to wash it right now. You know what I'm thinking? I'm about to just put on like a maxi dress and just go downstairs and maybe go get something to eat. I miss breakfast, y'all. Breakfast was over at what, 10, 10 a.m.? I can guarantee. I haven't even looked at my phone. I mean, yes, I have. Let me see what time it is. Oh, no, I missed that. Breakfast is done. Maybe I can get some lunch some brunch but yeah i missed 
breakfast so i might to just go downstairs get some lunch and lay by the pool and just relax y'all this is a very chill relaxed trip nothing too crazy that's why i haven't really been vlogging for real i'm using la roche posay la roche posay i don't know why i always want to say posay that is so incorrect la roche posay um the one in the blue bottle i believe that's what I'm using right now to wash my face. And I typically don't like to use hotel towels on my face. But y'all, I don't know if it'd be that deep. Now I'm going to use my toner. Because that is one thing I will do. Is tone my skin. Now we are patting in our toner. And y'all, sometimes when that toner be taking a long time to dry. Because who about to wait? I have been to some beautiful, I'm talking about top notch, top of the line weddings. I've been to quite a few. But this wedding that I went to yesterday, y'all, uh, was in a freaking castle in the mountains of Spain, the countryside of Spain. It was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous gorgeous as a matter of fact while i finish doing my skincare routine i'm gonna give y'all a recap video of the wedding should i do that yeah okay let me go finish my skincare routine and y'all watch the wedding and i'll come back when i'm done let's do that okay see y'all later which I was being a little dramatic but it looked like a castle it's really a, um, a monastery which is like a very ancient ancient I mean ancient building where back in the day in Spain the monks used to go worship it's not like a church but it's kind of like a church y'all I'm not from Spain okay I can't give y'all a history lesson but y'all get the point Y'all, I'm sitting here thinking about how at the wedding, 
I was really snot nose crying. I don't know why I do that at weddings. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, why do I do that? I, it needs to be studied because why are you crying so hard? I mean, of course, they'd be tears of joy and happiness, but girl, I'm not about to do nothing too crazy to my hair. I'm about to leave it just like this. I'm not even about to put no edge control on it because I don't care. I have on my sunscreen. I have on this cute little outfit that it's just real chill. I'm like, I'm about to go lay out by the pool. Nothing too crazy. I got this little two-piece set from Fashion Nova. Um, this is just real chill. I'm about to go lay out by the pool, get me some lunch. And I'll probably check in with y'all later when I actually figure out what I'm going to do today. Because right now, it's just giving... I actually think I'm about to put it in a ponytail. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a ponytail. I'm dressed. I'm ready. I just wanted to tap in with y'all real quick and let y'all know, sisters, that I have been in Spain for the last few days. I leave tomorrow. And yeah, I just wanted to enjoy my time in Spain. I didn't really want to vlog this trip because this is not like a Spain, Barcelona, Spain vlog. It's just, you know, me out here for a few days living my life. So I told y'all that I was going to check in with y'all more and let y'all know what's going on with me more. I just want to check in, let y'all know I'm in Spain, enjoy my life. About to go lay by the pool, have some lunch, and I'll see y'all later. Like And when I say no pressure, I mean like, don't nobody in the world have to know where I'm at. I don't have to worry about posting in real time. So when I was there in Spain, I didn't post on Snapchat, nor did I post on my IG stories. I was just there and really enjoying the moment, living in the moment. I did vlog for you guys a little bit. I didn't really vlog too much of the trip, but it was just one of those trips where it was like I really enjoyed the moment and me and my boo just really vibed out. Ate really good food cause we love to eat. So we ate some really good food. We enjoyed each other's company. And yeah, Spain is a vibe y'all. I could really move to Spain. I'm not gonna lie. My best friend Sharaya, she used to live in Spain for like a year right after graduation. She loved it and I could see why. The people were so friendly. I mean, they were just, overly friendly i aspire to just be that happy in life like i think i am really truly happy in life but golly they was just so nice and so friendly so the trip was beautiful i am dressed in this two-piece fashion nova workout set i don't know if this scarf is from fashion nova or the beauty supply store can't remember uh, but it's just a satin scarf that i had to tie up my hair when I go to yoga later on tonight, I might tie my hair in a bun or I might leave it down. I'm not sure. So I got back from Spain last night. Baby, I was tired, okay? I was going to vlog and let y'all know that I made it back and that I was about to do my nighttime skincare routine and 
Baby, please. I ain't do none of that. I went to sleep, okay? I know something that I realized. I think like in the mornings, it's very hard for us to get up because we don't have a routine. When I started implementing a morning routine, I started getting my butt up early. I'm talking about like 7 a.m. And that's early for me because I'm like a 8 a.m. girly. But I started waking up at like 6.30, 7 a.m. I'm trying to wake up a little earlier, like maybe 6 a.m. I'm not gonna lie to you, 5 a.m. is kind of crazy. <laughs> like y'all that's waking up at 5 a.m., I salute you. But me, myself, and I, I think 5 a.m. is just kind of crazy. Like, why am I up at the ass crack of dawn? Why am I up at 5 a.m.? Like, what, what do I possibly have to do at 5 a.m. that I can't do at 7 a.m.? I don't know. 5 a.m. just seems a little... <sighs> Sisters, let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm missing out on this 5 a.m. girly routine and that, that the 5 a.m. girlies is tea. Let me know if I'm missing out, okay? Because I might need to implement waking up earlier in my routine let me know i went down to the business center worked on my computer edited some vlogs for y'all so i got some of that done um what else did i do today i looked at the beautiful view i just sat here literally i'm not even just playing i just sat here and drank some water just looked at the view and was just like wow i am so blessed i am so 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 blessed because we could never get tired of this view. Y'all, this apartment is still so empty. City and I have not ordered any new furniture yet. We are working on it. Give us some time. We'll get there. Uh, in about maybe like an hour or so, I have yoga. And I know I should not be eating before yoga, but I am so hungry. Not only should I not be eating before yoga, I shouldn't be eating pasta before yoga. But y'all... When I tell you I'm so hungry, so I'm about to make a quick little pasta. And when I say quick, it's going to be super, super quick. I'm going to make it with y'all. Watch. The chicken is already cooked. When I came home, y'all, last night, Sydney had already had some cooked chicken in there and some, some fettuccine noodles. So thank you, sis, because I do not feel like starting from scratch. Now all I'm about to do is heat the noodles, heat the chicken, and make me some alfredo sauce real quick. It's about to be that simple. And I'm not gonna eat a lot because I don't wanna eat too much before yoga. Now mind you, this is probably not the best thing to eat before yoga, but I'm just on here being transparent. I'm not about to come on here and lie to y'all and tell y'all that I ate a salad. Even though we do have salad. I could probably eat this salad with a little chicken. I'm not about to do that. I'm hungry. I need some carbs. We got some heavy whipping cream. Pour a little bit of it. A little Parmesan cheese. Mexican blend. And I try not to eat a lot of dairy, but I cannot lie to y'all. I love me some pasta. Like all the best meals require cheese. Like, come on now. Let's talk about it. And we're gonna put some spinach in it. We could just break it up like this. Spinach. And I have a few onions over here that I already cut up off camera. So I'm gonna sprinkle a few onions in. A little salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Cut up my chicken pieces. Mind you, the chicken was already made. Sydney had already made it. I don't know what that girl was cooking when I was gone, but probably pasta right i would imagine one thing about sydney y'all that girl will wait for me to get home before she eat like she is not cooking i mean she'll cook and she knows how to cook i'm not trying to play my sister but she be waiting on me to come home to cook for her if i go out of town and not only that y'all when i be going out of town sydney stay calling me when i'm home she don't mess with me like that but when I'm going, all she do is call me. P, what you doing? P, baby, where you at? Girl, I'm in Spain. P, what y'all doing in Spain? Literally texting me, calling me. But when I'm at home, oh yeah, she don't want to be bothered. I'm gonna just put a little seasoning inside of it. And some little garlic powder. Um, what else we got? We'll put a little cayenne so it could be spicy. Put your noodles in there. 
nothing. Mind you, it's nothing special. It's just something to eat real quick to put on my stomach right before I go to yoga. And as I said, I know this is really crazy eating this before yoga, but it's about to be so good, y'all. Look at that. I could probably put some more Alfredo sauce in it, but I probably shouldn't. So I made a pot roast. So let me show y'all what that's looking like. Okay, play with somebody else. So yeah, y'all, when Sydney and I come back from yoga tonight, uh-oh, now it's getting foggy, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, when Sydney and I come back from yoga today, or tonight, we'll have a little pot roast to eat for dinner, so. It's so freaking good. I love homemade Alfredo pasta. It's like one of my favorite quick little meals to make. But anyway, sisters, I am about to go finish checking some emails and getting some work stuff done. I'll explain to y'all maybe later on in this vlog or in the next vlog what all I have been working on work-wise. It's just like another conversation for another day. I don't really have time to sit and talk about it because I'm about to bust the rest of my pasta down. And also too, we're gonna be going to yoga shortly. So I need to hurry up and eat so that we can make it to yoga on time. Cucumber, lemon water, some good homemade pasta. My laptop to get some stuff done. And this is why I don't need to be eating pasta before yoga. Like make it make sense, P, for real. Like, make it make sense, girl. Anyways, I'll see y'all later on tonight, either at yoga or when I eat dinner. Probably yoga. I'ma see y'all at yoga so that y'all know I really went to yoga. That's what we gonna do. I'ma see y'all at yoga. Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. Pour enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations, I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you deal with your kids, the biz, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you take in a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you clear your mind? Be a lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Barely been doing you wrong. On days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. But never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure They know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crown You ever need something from me? I'm practicing staying calm when shit hits the fan That's all that's this is for Just to be able to stay calm So just notice when you start to step out and go out on your own or if you step out and you try to do what other people are doing, instead of listening to your body. So maybe our intention today can be to tune into our body, our own body, not our neighbors, not somebody who saw on Instagram, but for our bodies. If that intention does not resonate with you, please feel free to set your own. Take a big breath here. Set your intention with your breath. Inhale. And then a big breath out. Let it go. Sigh it out. Set it free. It's called minding your own business. It's called staying on your own mat. 
And just notice if right now you're already looking around, can you bring your focus to one point on the map? You don't need to see what anybody else is doing. Spread your fingers wide, stack your shoulders above the wrists and the hips on top of the knees. On the inhale, Step out, get some in now, let so edge out, to some ice poke, you'll be heavy in my mind, can you get the heck out, I mean grass now, got me bummed out, you so you so you, baby, 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 problem from my empty mind, shit, I should've keep from choosing the best in me, I will be that I Y'all, y'all parents hate yoga so much. Girl, I was just, how you know? I because was just about to tell them. All right, she don't like nothing. I did not like, like yoga. Y'all, I never, ever liked ever. yoga in my life. Every time we do yoga class together, which is very rare because she hates it, she always leaves and say, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even say it when we left. I said it during yoga. Yeah, she, said it, she said it during yoga. And you know, you supposed to be focused and stuff, y'all. She had whispered. I mean, she didn't uh -oh. even whisper it. She mouthed it. And I knew exactly what she said. I almost bust out laughing. A few times I did bust out laughing because the yoga instructor was so funny, y'all. so funny. He was like, this position, no, this practice is called mind your damn business. <laughs> he said, mind your effing business, y'all. And a few, I, I cut it. In the clips before this, when we was uh, in yoga, I'm I'm going to cut that out. But he was kind of talking reckless he a little like, bit. This practice he, is called mind your business. Mind your effing business. Y'all that man. He was so nice. That That's my boy. So funny. But I ain't gonna lie. I just do not like yoga. I don't know what it is about yoga. It just don't do nothing for me. Okay, I gotta take her to Pilates. We never did Pilates together. We never did Pilates together, but I have done Pilates. Now, I do like Pilates better than yoga, but yoga, y'all, it's just... I like yoga because... It's like, what does it do for it's you? It's just peaceful. It helps you stretch. It helps your helps you be flexible so you're not all uptight and tense. Now, I do like to stretch and I do like the flexibility, but I love the meditation part of it. So at the end, what did he do? He lit the um the sage. sage. I did like that. He lit sage and we all did our deep breaths. He was like, okay, put one hand on your heart. You put the other hand on top and just breathe in and exhale. And breathe in, deep breath. And exhale. Now that part. <laughs> and then y'all Sydney started pooting up. <laughs> Why would you tell them people that? Yo, Sydney started Yo. pooting in yoga class. Like, Yo. I was like, bro, I was so happy I was letting it lose because my stomach was so tight. <gasps> Sydney. And but we was doing all that stretching. It was just my bowels was moving, baby. <laughs> Sydney, bro. And I was literally right in front of Paris, so she kept on going. Y'all, she. <laughs> Yo, Sydney was in front of me and she was bending over and she would let a little, she would let a little poot out and I go, <laughs> Baby, I know they was ready to kick us out of yoga, y'all. I had to stop <gasps> recording. First time because the instructor asked me to. <laughs> he walked over to Madison. He tapped her. He said, no. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, she ain't coming back. <laughs> I think it's only once a week. You could take one day out of the week and just do yoga. Focus on your body. Focus on like your but balance. But see, I do all of that already though. No, you don't. You yes, I do. No, girl. I Trust me, baby. Do I look stressed? <laughs> Yo, hair stress. Stop. Yo, edges is stress. Stop, y'all. But me? Baby, my stomach might be stressed because, see, why? Before pasta, I mean, before pasta, before yoga, I made me some pasta. Oh, yeah, I eat pasta in a It was so good. The, the girl, the sister saw 
I made it in like five minutes and y'all I told it. Oh they saw. Anyways, that was our little yoga experience. I think it was cool or whatever, you know. I don't know if y'all gonna see me at yoga next week. We'll see. I be in there like, oh, hurry up. That's the problem. Like you supposed to relax, be in the moment, focus on your body, focus on why you here, your intentions. Like, yeah, see, I could do that elsewhere. I don't have to do that while I'm like hurting my arms. See, all right. Y'all gonna see me next week at yoga. I'll think about it. I, I just knew y'all. When we got done with that, I said, oh, your parents ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. <laughs> I ain't coming back. And if I do come back, I'm not sitting by you. And I don't little more that's sitting by me. Oh was pooing all up in my face. Like, girl. I could not stop laughing. She give up more. <laughs> now we are laying on the rooftop. Watching the sunset. Maybe the sun didn't set it. No, not all the way. Don't do that. It's still. I know y'all see that. Now, this is my favorite thing to do ever. Like, so, we are just watching the sunset. We are laying out by the pool. I'm probably going to get in a jacuzzi. I'm not going to get all the way in, but I'll probably put my feet in or something. What you think? I'm not doing that. Girl, I'm going to ask you. Oh, that, you wasn't talking to me? No, I was talking to them. Oh, well, then what y'all think? Since let, me know, me let me know in the comments. Do y'all think I should go to the jacuzzi? Because I'm a jacuzzi girl. Let me know in the comments. Ciao. Meanwhile, Sydney wanna. You know what? Next time, next week when you go to yoga, I'm gonna go to the jacuzzi. That's fine. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the jacuzzi. I'm gonna come here. You go to yoga. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna go to the jacuzzi. I'm gonna have like my little meditation moment up here on the rooftop by myself, and I'm gonna watch the sunset. That's that's great. And I'm gonna drink my water in my Stanley cup. Oh, girl, y'all. Ever since she got a Stanley cup, she would not shut up about it. Girl, we get it. You got a Stanley cup. And it's not from Timu. Yeah, my sister got me a Stanley cup. Did your sister get you a Stanley cup? Hmm. Yeah. Girl, our pot roast is on. Oh, we got like two hours. No, left. we got an hour. You told me 9 30. Don't do that. Okay, we got like an hour left. Probably got like an hour and a half. I ain't gonna hold you. Because I put it like on an extra hour. I want it to be so tender. You know what I want though? Some shrimp tacos. You can make. Y'all, y'all know I've been waiting for my sister to get home because I've been hungry. Y'all, I can't even tell you what I've been cooking. Y'all, she probably been eating sandwiches. Not even. What she was eating? Girl, I can't even, I can't <laughs> even tell you. What bro. she was eating, y'all? Oh my gosh. So the other day, I had started, you had some leftover jambalaya and that little, little, no, the dirty rice. She had a little skimp of dirty rice up in a container, y'all, that was probably up enough for over a week. And I had some little chicken breasts that I had made for my pasta. Baby, I took that little chicken breast and that little leftover dirty rice and a piece of toast. <laughs> and a piece of toast? Like bread or like, like a little bread, like a little slice of bread. Baby, I ate that. Mm. Did you vlog that? I hope you didn't. I did. I Cause that's not giving real soft girl. That's giving jail food. Baby, we'll free her, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> really? Free, free people's sister, y'all. For yeah, real. Yeah, I was up there. hungry. All right, y'all. Well, we about to go because it's getting a little chilly. Once the sun goes down, y'all, it gets very cold in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I'm hungry. And as y'all can see, the sun is going down. Some of my stuff that I ordered from Amazon and Wayfair came in. But I'm probably not gonna show y'all right now because it's in the boxes and you know I ain't taking about that boxes just yet. Cause who building it? Not me. You are. Not me. Y'all see must think I'm her man, y'all. I don't know. She think I'm her man, her mama, her daddy. I don't know what this girl think this is. Y'all parents been my mama since I was like three years old. So I don't know why she try to act funny. I don't know what this girl think she is. Girl, she used to call my hair, change my diaper, all of that. Bathe me. Give her whippings. Give me some whippings. She used to discipline me. She was kind of bad a little bit. We about to eat. We about to eat. We about to eat. Y'all, ever since I was a little girl, my mama said every time I get ready to eat food, I do a little happy dance. So, y'all, look at Sydney. She's so hungry. She can't even wait. She can't even say hey to y'all. How rude. Say hey. Okay, you get to eat off of a real plate tonight. Because lately, y'all, I've been making Sydney eat off of paper plates. Because sis don't like to wash the dishes. As in you, I wash the dishes. 
Me yeah, one of us. I, no, like to I wash opened them. up the dishwasher. I said, P, I got like five dishes in here. You can wash them? No, I don't wash dishes. I don't like to wash dishes. So I put them in the dishwasher every night. Why not? But I cook. I don't have time to cook and clean. Pick one. I can clean. You ain't gotta feed me on no paper plates and no paper forks. Don't see me look like a little greeny. <laughs> I mean, she look like a little grandma okay, back there. Give me some new robes, y'all. So oh, tonight man. for dinner, Cindy, tell me some. Tell them what we made. Oh, I made the rice and the corn. Do not do that. Y'all heard her. She made the rice, rice, and the corn. Everybody can't make rice. I want you to know that. We made a pot roast tonight, and the pot roast came with potatoes, carrots. What else did it come with? Onion. That's it. Oh, an onion. Yeah, we got the. Pre-packaged. It was a pre-packaged. Pre I think we showed y'all. Yeah. And one of these the last the last vlogs. But it's the first time making it, and it's so I tasted a little tiny piece. You know, I'm a little greedy. I tasted a little tiny piece, and it was so tender. It was falling off the fork, literally. And all we missed, you didn't. She's like, some. I didn't do much. All you did was put it in a pot roast. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Well, girl, a slow you, cooker, baby. Something. You know who? I got it. That is so nasty. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let me wash my hands. What was that? It was a nap. Parents be buying expired fruit. Oh no, that be silly. <laughs> y'all, she be having these little old apples, or she'll go to the grocery store and she swears she gonna eat bananas. She'll get bananas and don't eat them. And you know, bananas bring gnats. That's disgusting. Like, if you gonna get fruit, girl, eat it. Alright y'all, dinner is served. Little Miss Mama's over here already got some hot sauce on her food. Like, she couldn't even wait. Girl, did you even say your grace? I did. I did. Alright. Okay. Well y'all, we about to dig in. Dinner is served. Mm -hmm. Dinner is served. One thing about me and Sid, we gonna eat us a home cooked meal. And it's gonna be good every time. We gonna eat us a home cooked meal. We are really stepping into our home body era. Like, I just wanna be in the house. But don't get me wrong, when we outside, we outside. But for now, we are really embracing being home. Sydney over there drinking a little wine. She thinks she all of that. I'm about to drink me a sparkling peach pear water. Mmm. You think you all there. Mm, 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 because mm. one thing about me, I'm going to drink a sparkling water with my dinner. Ain't that right, Pooty? She do. And I just feel like if you thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you about to say? What? If you thirsty, what? If you thirsty, drink water. Because that's what you better be about to say. What? <laughs> No, I was about to say, because like for me, when I'm really thirsty, I cannot drink a sparkling water. So the fact that you eat it with your food, bro, mm -mm. it just makes the food taste so good. Maybe yeah. after the food, but. So happy to have my chef back home. We're eating good. Guys, I am happy. Come on now. This is just second Y'all, that is a freaking charger. It just keeps falling out of the wall. I cannot help it. I can't worry about, baby, I can't worry about that. I'm gonna stop hitting the wall. How about I can't, that? I can't worry about that charger. I am so happy to be back home. I love traveling, but it just feels so good when you travel and you just come back home to a clean house. Y'all, <laughs> Sydney, <laughs> Sydney cleaned up. I always clean up, y'all. So when I came home, the laundry was done. The kitchen was clean. I had some pasta in the fridge. Mm-hmm. I did make some pasta. Yeah, I really think I'm about to start cutting out dairy, like for real, like hardcore. Like I'm just getting a little paranoid. You think that it's sugar and dairy and stuff that's breaking your skin out? Yeah. And also like my gut health is like really important. And I just feel like I've been, like the, the fact that I was so gassy today at yoga, like that's, <laughs> that's concerning. Y'all. Yeah. I know we already it's told you, but my sis was so gassy, and then she had to like be squatting in front of me. But no, I'm like really about to go on a hardcore no dairy, at least for the for the month of August, just to see if that helps. Definitely cutting back on sugar. That's all I can do right now. But 
I don't know, something out of shape. I don't know what it is about us being in LA. I don't know what it is about our skin the last few years, but it has just not been the best. It could be our diet. We eat a lot of home cooked meals. So like Sydney said, if anything, it's probably the dairy. Cause we don't, eat, we don't eat a lot of sugar. So it could be the dairy, but yeah, I think that we need to figure out what it is that we're eating mm -hmm. that's causing us to break out in this area. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy how our skin is in sync. Mm -hmm. Like kind of doing the same stuff right now at the same time. It's really annoying. But y'all let us know if y'all had any issues with just random breakouts and skin issues and like what y'all did to solve it. Like I told the girls, if you are experiencing any breakouts or skin issues or any issues in life, just try not to stress about it. Try not to stress over things that you cannot control and just do what you can to keep it under control. Anything outside of that, you can't worry about it. So, yeah. we got everything to say, Sid. You can't worry about all of that. But we can't even worry about all of that. Mm -hmm. And stressing just makes things 10 times worse. Just stay calm. Whatever it is that you're going through in life, stay calm. You know, I gotta start doing yoga more often. You just like stay calm. Whatever it is that you have going on, focus it, focus on that, and not get distracted with um what what other people are doing. Like I said, mind your effing business. Mind your business, yeah. For real, we are in a space where we really are minding our effing business. Like we don't care about what other person has what, what creator is doing what. What, which one of our friends is doing what, who's going on what trip, who's moving to what city, who's doing it. Like none of that matters to us. We are focused on the Kyle sisters, Paris and Sydney. We're just really in a space in our lives where what's for us is for us and it's gonna find us. If you have been catching up with us for the last six months, when we like been hitting our episodes, episode one, two, three, we, I think we got to like 12 or 13 or something or like 11. that. It's 11. I think it was 11. 11? Okay. We dropped out. And then we dropped out. <laughs> we dropped out. We didn't want to do, we, there's nothing wrong with the episodes, but we just on a new wave right now. Like mm -hmm. we told y'all when we came back a few weeks ago that we are on a new journey with YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to try to give y'all like different content. I don't know what that looks like just yet, but we're going to figure out as we go. Back to what my boy was saying in yoga. Mind your effing business. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when he kept saying that, I was like, nah, for real. He kept saying, why are you looking at the person next to you trying to see how they're moving? How long they're lasting? How far their arms are reaching? What leg they're on? Mind your business. Mm -hmm. Figure out you. He was like, and also too, why are you looking at me? Yeah, he kept saying. He kept saying, why are you looking at why me? You look, why you keep looking around? I don't know who he was talking to. Probably me, because I was looking around. I was looking around. But he kept saying, why? He said, why are you even looking at me? I'm the instructor, but I'm telling, I'm telling you what you to do. So, so you should be listening. Mm -hmm. You should be, your, he said, you should be in the moment. Mm -hmm. Your eyes should be closed. Mm -hmm. You should be taken in this moment and you should be listening. Mm -hmm. You don't need to look up at me. Mm -hmm. If you just be still, he kept saying, be still and listen. You can hear what I'm telling you to do, and you should just be able to do it. Mm. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little difficult. He'll be like, all right, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out child pose, <laughs> and right leg, and then left arm. And, <laughs> and he was He's like, <laughs> like, he was like, let your palms touch the earth, yeah. <laughs> chin to chest. <laughs> Anyways, back to the lessons that we learned in yoga. Mind your effing business, like for real. Just focus on you. Relating it to like where we are in life. We're just in such a peaceful space. Mm -hmm. We're in our new home. Mm -hmm. You know, we are getting ready to implement new strategies on how to stay consistent. <laughs> Y'all, ever since City was little, stop. I've been telling her that a lady, <laughs> She always leave something on her plate. Okay. We learned that from my mama. But y'all, when we are out in public or even when we eating at home, y'all, one thing Sydney gonna do is clean her plate. So if I take my fork and I put my fork on her plate, that means ma'am. Leave a little bit. Leave a little, just leave a little bit. You embarrassing us. <laughs> it's like 
like a little inside thing that we have. It's so funny. Me and Sydney really have our own code language. Like we could really write a book about our code language. But if I take my fork and I tap her plate, <laughs> <laughs> that means you're eating too fast. You need to slow down. You're embarrassing me. Y'all look at Sydney plate. Don't show yeah. Paris, please. Look, Sydney move. Y'all look at Sydney. <laughs> That means, ma'am, you need to leave a little bit on your plate. If y'all ever see us in public and y'all see me hit her little plate with the fork, y'all gonna know the little inside tea. We're not gonna tell y'all all the little inside jokes, but that's what that yeah. one means. <laughs> She's embarrassing. But anyway, y'all, it is getting late. So, Sydney and I are about to finish our conversation amongst each other. Always, food her food is done. I'm just gonna take my magnesium pill because lately, y'all, I wanna say like the last two weeks, I have been taking a magnesium pill at night, like maybe 30 minutes before bed, knocked out, okay? The other day I had made that sleepy girl mocktail and I was like, it took me about two Oh, you made a sleepy girl mocktail? When? When I was in Spain? Mm-hmm, you. I tried to wait for you. That is so messed up, y'all. We said we was gonna try the sleepy girl mocktail together, so how could she? I couldn't wait for you no more. That's messed up. I, was like, I just felt my whole body shutting down. And that's how you know you about to get some good sleep. Like, you feel your body just coming down. Like, you know that feeling? Baby, you sure you weren't just tired? No, no. Cause I was up, like wide awake. And then out of nowhere, I just got like. Hmm. Well, y'all heard the girl. So it actually works. Magnesium. I don't know if it was the magnesium, the cherry tart juice, but it worked for sure. Yeah, we got our wine. She has a sparkling water. This has been so much fun. I'm so happy my sister is back. Mm -hmm. it I'm was happy just to me. be home. It was just me and y'all. I was, I was trying <laughs> to hold it down. Y'all, what was she talking about? I what were you doing, y'all? Was she fake reading a book, y'all? No. Thank you for reminding me. What? I've been reading my book. I read two chapters so far. Mm -hmm. And it just teaches me about like, why things make me upset. When you know what triggers you, you can control it better. You can act before you react. Mm, that's okay. Good. So, okay, city the philosopher. Mm -hmm. Well, sisters, we're gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here. Again, I'm so happy to be back home. I miss my little stinko butt, even though she be getting on my nerves when I be home. But y'all, it's so funny because when I'm gone, Sydney is constantly texting me and calling me like, what you no. doing? Girl, what you mean what I'm doing? I'm out of town. But she wanna miss me so bad when I'm gone, but when I'm at home. What? She don't talk to me. Now y'all know that's not true. See, I call you in the car every day when I'm alone. <laughs> alone. And I be like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> I need somebody no, to talk to. No, Sydney called me every day, all day. I mean, I call her too, so. Hmm. Thank y'all for always supporting us. Thank hmm. y'all for loving on us. We appreciate all of the supportive comments. We see them all. We try to comment oh, and respond. Yeah, we try to respond to all of them. If we can't, we're sorry. But thank y'all so much, sisters. We love y'all. Girl, you don't we'll get that many comments. Like, what's up? We do <laughs> That's not. We be getting like ten comments. Stop, stop, stop. We just playing. We just playing. Okay, okay. the ones we do get, we appreciate. Y'all, love the comment section. Let us know. Give y'all girls some love in the comment section because I and like don't to forget know. to like, comment, and subscribe if y'all have not already. And if y'all new to the vlog and y'all just watching and y'all not subscribing, and liking, and commenting, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is sister? going on, y'all? Join the sisterhood. If you do not want to be a part of the sisterhood, let me know now. Okay, well, thanks. Now that we got that out the way, cheers to another vlog and cheers to consistency. Cheers to us finishing off 2024 strong. We are halfway through the year. Cheers to and us being three years in LA. Woo! I can't and believe, well, yes, I can. I was gonna say, I can't believe we made it to three years, but yes, I can. Because one thing about me and my sister, we gonna keep on pushing. We ain't never give up, okay? We gonna keep on pushing. Mm -hmm. And that cheers to pushing. It. Stay in your been like oh no, what he said? Mind your effing business. And that's what we doing. Hmm. So mm -hmm. cheers. And cheers we will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye sisters. Cheers.